Hi, welcome back to another video by Jim the Car Guy. This car is a 2002, it's an Acura. Um, the complaint with this one is that the, uh, the customer drives and they hear a loud grinding noise um, while they, when they apply the brake and even without applying the brake. Uh, also, I did drive the car, you can hear the grinding noise and, uh, and I'm pretty much half deaf from all the impact guns over the years, but it's grinding really badly. Uh, not to mention when you step on the, on the brake pedal, you, you could feel the steering wheel rocking like crazy and you could feel your foot moving up and down on the brake pedal. I already know it's going to be the rotors are going to have to be changed because um, once you take the wheels off and take a peek at it, you'll see exactly why. So let me bring you up front. I'm going to show you what's going on up front. Then I'm going to bring you the back and I'm going to show you the back what's happening. Pretty clean cut what the problem is here. All right, this is the, uh, the front brakes. As you can see, they're extremely rusty. Um, so even though the brake pads themselves are still fairly thick, as you can see, they're still fairly thick, there's really not a heck of a lot we're going to be able to do to resolve that pulsating pedal except to replace the rotors and replace the brake pads. And hopefully our slide pins, um, hopefully these slide pins right here um, slide the way they're supposed to, but I'll, I will show you how to check that just to, uh, to know what you need before you start the job. I'm also going to show you how to get these screws out right here because these could be a real pain in the rear end trying to get these things out. But I'm going to show you an easy way to, uh, to remove them. You do what I, what I show you, you're not going to have a problem. They're going to come right out. All right, next thing we're going to do, we're going to go to the back over here and take a peek at the back. As you can see, the back is even worse than the front. Um, when you spin this, you can hear the grinding that's coming out of here. I know there's a truck outside, it's a little noisy, but that's pretty much what that looks like. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to change this row to here. We're also going to come into the back over here and we're going to check these slide pins right here to make, these, make sure these slide pins are sliding the way they're supposed to be and not binding up. And um, that's it. In the back here, as you can see, these bolts or screws here, they're extremely rusty. You can see that they're, it looks like they're going to be a real pain in the rear end to get out. But uh, again, I'll show you what to do so you can get these out without breaking them. So, uh, all right, let me get set up and uh, let's get started and see where it's going to go. Okay, the first thing we're going to do before we do anything, we want to make sure we can place the order for the correct parts we're going to need. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in the back over here with the pry bar or screwdriver, whatever you have, and we're going to slide the uh, brake pads back into the bore just to make sure that those slide pins are not frozen because if the slide pins are frozen we'll be changing these calipers and the mounting bracket to go with it too. So I'm pushing that piston back in right now just keep constant pressure on it and you'll see the piston pushes right back into the bore and as you can see this caliper slides nicely on those slide pins so we're not frozen here at all. Uh, I'm just going to make sure it's pushed all the way back in The brake pad is rusted pretty badly into the mounting bracket too, I might add. You hear that? It's very rusty. So we are going to change the, uh, the hardware kit with the brake pads too. A lot of them come with it, but if it doesn't, we're going to change that also. All right, so our piston is pushed back all the way back into the bore. All right, we're going to go around the other side. We're going to check the other side just to confirm that the other side is also able to be saved. So... Uh, let me get in here with the pry bar and we'll try this one and see how this one is too. Sorry about the light, I know it's blinding. We're going to try pushing this back in. I can feel it pushing back in nice and free. Again, the caliper looks fine. And this one here I can feel too. The brake pad, the brake pad is rusted into the, uh, to the mounting bracket too. So we're going to change the hardware kit and that will resolve that issue too. All right, It pushed in perfectly so the calipers and the mounting bracket are both good. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace the rotor, we're going to replace the brake pads and uh, we're going to change the hardware kit here too. So let's go in the back and check the back and make sure that's good. Now the backs are a little continue. bit more difficult because you can't get in here to actually pry it properly because as you can see it's a really tight spot back here so um, 
it's going to be a little bit different. Let me grab a screwdriver and I'll show you how to, uh, to get in here with a smaller screwdriver. I don't think this is going to work here, but we're going to grab a smaller screwdriver and we'll give it a shot. The screwdriver fits in the back through right there. Sorry about that. Traffic is a real pain in the rear end out there today. All right, just keep slight pressure on it. And what it's going to do is we're going to push that piston all the way back in again. And this caliper seems a little bit tight. It does slide. It's just very tight. So uh, we are going to lubricate everything really well, but this caliper should be okay also. And last, we're going to do the exact same thing on this side over here. Go in the back like this with your uh, screwdriver. Just hold a little bit of pressure. You don't have to kill it. You're just going to hold a little bit of pressure just to push that piston back in. And this one I could feel is pushing back in also. Let's check this and see. All right. This one's a little bit tight also, but we're going to lubricate it, and that should be fine too. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to place the order right now. We're going to change the rotors, front and rear. We're going to change the brake pads, front and rear. And we're also going to change the mounting kit um, or the hardware right here, too. So uh, all right, let's place the order and uh, let's get started. Okay, now, as you recall, we did um, push that piston back in right there. Now, Remember what I told you about these studs right here, these, these, these uh, Phillips head screws? They're, they're extremely tight. You can't get these off. You use a regular screwdriver on here, chances are you're going you're gonna to snap them off or you're not going to, you're going to strip them out. Either one of the two. This is my way of resolving that problem. Take a brass drift, take a piece of uh, metal drift, take whatever you have and just go over the top of the bolt like this and you wrap it really hard couple of times. All right. Doesn't look like it did anything, but you'll see and you're able to to unscrew them out. They are they are a pain in the rear end. I know it, and you may have a problem where they round out. If you do have a problem where they round out and you can't get this off, don't freak out. It's not a big deal. Get a drill and drill right through the center of the star right here. Drill through the center and you want to drill down so that you get this entire end off right here. If the other piece stays inside there, don't worry about it. Not a big deal. Just make sure it's flush so that when you put the new rotor back on that it actually comes right through right here and doesn't interfere with the rotor staying flat. Uh, if you had to and they snapped off, you can leave it off. You don't have to worry about it. It's not going to cause the rotor to fall off the car. All right. So, all right, let's take these out. All right. Next thing we're going to do, okay, once you got the bolts out, you're actually going to come down underneath here, and we're going to take out this bolt here and this bolt here, and we're going to relocate this caliper off to the side. And then right underneath here, you're going to see it's a 17 millimeter bolt here, as well as up on top here. So let me break these loose. We're going to relocate this, and we're going to continue. Take these bolts out. Don't lose them. You're going to need them because you got to put this back together. Okay, yeah. That truck's not done yet. I got to do that later. Just leave it right there. Start on that Volkswagen. No, you know what? I'll do the Volkswagen. Okay, relocate this off to the side like this, put a piece of wire through it, and just secure it up and out of the way temporarily now. Now this truck here was, ex I mean this car, was extremely rusty, so instead of using just a socket, I'm actually going to use a breaker bar to break them loose. It wasn't as bad as I thought to be true. 
truthful with you. back on again also. Right. And we'll take this off here. Now, as you see, the brake pads themselves are, are still pretty thick, but there's no way we're going to be able to uh, replace this rotor and take care of that pulsating feeling and leave the old brakes on there especially when the issue is as rust right here in this in this uh, mounting bracket. So, all right, let's take this rotor off. We're going to bring this over to the bench, and I'm going to show you what you have to do next. Obviously, the rotor just comes right off. And then we're going to clean this face up right here. Actually, it's not as rusty as I thought it was going to be. There's actually nothing on there. So we don't have to worry about that. All right, let's get over to the workbench, and I'm going to show you how to change that mounting bracket, the hardware anyway. Okay. All right, so what we do then is you just take your brake pads out of the knuckle. They'll be a little bit rusty, but you can just pull them right out. If you can't get them out, you can tap it out with a hammer if you need to. Okay, we'll just leave these on the side for now. now what you want to do is you want to take out these uh, slide pins right here. Just pull the slide pin out like that, just like that, and then we're going to take a little bit of brake grease, it's a synthetic brake grease, lubricate them really well, and put them right back in the same hole that they came out of. Okay, same thing here, right, just like this. When you buy a premium brake pad, a lot of times it comes with the grease in there already. If it doesn't, just purchase some. All right, then we're going to take out these hardware kit right here and as you can see there is a significant amount of rust in here so we're going to clean that up a little bit now if you have a sandblaster fine you guys probably don't I know I don't you could take a file and you could file it right here to get any kind of significant rust off of there so let me clean that up not a significant amount of rust, but you want to clean it off so that it's actually smooth to the touch. All right, a little bit of uh, the silicone on here would be helpful. It keeps it from rusting any further. And then you're going to take your new clip like this, put it over the top like this, and you just push, point it out. These, these little clips here have to hook around on here. So you're going to put it around on here like this. We're going to turn it over on this side, and we're going to push it in like this also. See? Right here, right here, and then you make sure that this clip right here is pushed in and locked in all the way. All right, and then that one's all done. We'll do the same thing on this one here. Take it off. There's a little bit of rust on here, not a lot. We'll just clean it up a little bit. Sorry about that, the rest of the parts just came in. All right, a little bit of lubricant on here again, just to keep it from rusting up again. Take the clip here that you have on, put it over the top like this. Remember, you hook it on here like this, and hook it around on here, where it belongs there. Push it in.
and then you just push this in like that. Make sure this clip is in the, in the air all the way. And that's it, you're all set. All right, next thing we're gonna do, everywhere that the brake pad touches, you wanna put a lot of lubricant on it. Again, it's a special silicone that's made just for, uh, for brakes. All right, just like that. And we take our brake pad, and we're gonna install our outer brake pad. Match up your pad to your existing one that came off, and you'll see it's the right one. And you want to make sure it slides nice and easy. Which, as you can see, it does. It slides nice and easy. Now, you could put the brake pads in here, or you could put them in later on, whatever you choose. I'm going to stick them in here now, just because it saves me a step later. Make sure you put the correct brake pad on, because as you'll see, brake pads actually have it's a mirror image. You see how this has this piece over here? That's your sensor. This one here is a mirror image. Exact same thing, not a mirror image. It's the exact same thing as the one that came out. So we're going to put this one back in. And we know it was an inner brake pad because as you can see, that's the spot where the brake uh, piston was touching into. So we'll put this in here like this. And it should slide nice and easily also. Which it does. Okay, let's get back over to the car and we're going to put it back together. Okay, now we're going to put our rotor back on and make sure you line up these holes right here with the holes right there. So you can put your screws back into it. And then we'll screw those two screws back in. Now you could put a little grease on it if it was tight, but these actually didn't come out too badly. All right, nice and tight. Now I just want to point out that prior to me installing this rotor, I did clean this off with brake cleaner. You just spray brake cleaner on it, wipe it down with a rag, and you get all that residual oil off of there before you put it back together. All right, next thing we're going to do now is we're going to take our, our mounting bracket that we previously removed, slide it over the top. And then we're going to reinstall the bolts that we removed, the 17 millimeters. And I want to point out, don't tighten them all the way. You're going to screw them in by hand. Get them both caught by hand first. And then once you have them caught by hand, turn them down as far as you can. And then you bring your ratchet in. And tighten your mounting bracket tight. All right, there is a torque spec on this. So you can torque it to the proper uh, specs. I'm just going to tighten it by hand because I know I've done a million of these already. Right, now after we got that caught and tight, we're going to take our caliper. We're going to bring our caliper back over the top here, slide it over. Now we pushed our piston back in all the way already, but if you didn't push the piston in and you can't get this caliper back on, they actually make a lot of they make a lot of different tools to push the piston back in. If you had to, you can use a tool similar to this. You put it inside here, put a brake pad here and here, and you would push the piston back in. But we saved that step by pushing the piston in before, so we don't have to worry about that. All right, put your caliper back on. Move your slide pins in just to accommodate the caliper. And then we're going to screw in those 14 millimeter bolts that we previously took out. Screw them in by hand. Catch them both in there. Before you tighten the app, make sure you have both of them caught. Alright, then you tighten up your, your bolts. 
make sure that they tighten. If, if by chance you try to tighten these bolts and it just spins, it doesn't tighten, then what you would need to do is you would hold this up here. You would hold the, uh, the slide pin here so it doesn't move and you would tighten it. That's not the case, it's tight, so we don't have to worry about it. So, let's just recap what we did. All right, what we did is we, uh, we put our new rotor on, we made sure that the mounting uh, back behind here on the, uh, the hub bearing was nice and clean, there was no rust on it. We screwed in our two screws to secure the rotor in place. We installed our mounting bracket and tightened it up. We then tightened up those uh, 17 millimeter bolts down underneath here, here, and here. We put our caliper back on and tightened up those 14 millimeter bolts right here. And that's tight, right? We also put on our new, um, we also installed our hardware kit on there and we lubricated everything that the brake pad touches as well as the slide pins here. All right, that's it, we're all set. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go around the other side, duplicate this on the other side, and then we'll go in the back and we'll, we'll take care of the back brakes at the same time too. So, all right, thanks for watching. Any questions or comments, you drop me a line. I'd be more than happy to talk to you about anything. As always, thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Okay, sorry it took me a while to get back. I got sidetracked. I had to do an oil change for somebody while I waited for it and fix a flat tire on another one. So, all right, we're back now. Fronts are done. Uh, now the back's over here. Remember, we pushed this piston back in already. We put that screwdriver in here. We pushed the piston back in. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take out that screw right there, probably a 13 millimeter, maybe a 12 millimeter. Take out this one and this one, and we're going to put this caliper off to the side, and then we're going to remove this mounting bracket here, and we need to remove these screws right here that are really pretty, pretty badly rusted. So if you remember how I did it in the front, I'm going to do the exact same thing in the back. So, uh, all right, let me get set up and uh, let's get started. All right. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to, remember we talked about, you can use either a, a brass drift or you can use a steel drift. You want to try to jolt these loose right here. Uh, now, I just want to point out, if by chance you can't get them out, they do make a tool like this here. It's called a driver, and you can actually put it on here like this. Oh. I can't believe it. it actually just unscrewed right out. Let's see what this one does. Huh. It came right out. I was really surprised. I kind of thought I was going to have to beat the heck out of them or possibly even drill them out. But what happens is with this, this driver here, you put this driver on here and you, you bang this and it actually rotates the screw out while pushing pressure to the inside of it. But, I mean, it came right out. I'm really surprised. I didn't expect that. All right, so we have those out. Next thing we're going to do is let's take the bolts out in the back. Uh, remember we said they're probably the 12 or a 13 millimeter. Um, it's probably going to be a 12. And yes, it is. It's a 12 millimeter. Remember, taking something out, clock, counterclockwise to remove it, clockwise to reinstall it. Now, as you see, I'm trying to turn this and you see it's not loosening up? What's happening is this whole slide pin right here is turning. So we're going to get a wrench and we're going to hold this right here. Okay, we're just going to hold this so it doesn't turn and we'll break that loose. bracket off and we are going to change the pads and the mounting hardware kit at the same time. All right now that everything is loose we can take this rotor off. If it comes off fine, if it doesn't come off you can take your mechanic's best friend, your hammer, 
and just persuade it just by tapping it a couple of times and it'll pop right off. I just won't pull it down. You'll see this little piece right here. This little plastic, this rubber thing right here. That's to adjust the parking brake shoes. This you will need to reuse on your own. Okay. This rubber piece, you will need this to reuse it when you put your other rubber on. So take this out also, put it off to the side and hold on to it because you're going to have to reuse this. All right? Then take your rotor off. And you'll see a significant amount of rust inside the drum itself. The shoes still look good here, the parking brake shoes. They still look good, so we're not going to do anything there. Make sure there's no rust on here. We are going to take care of some of this here because I'll bring you up closer and I'll show you. This is going to cause a problem. It's going to keep the rotor from going on smoothly, and we're going to wind up with a pulsating problem. So we're going to clean this up a little bit in here, but I'll bring you in, I'm going to show you why. You see right here, if you run your finger over it, which obviously you can't because you're on the other side of the camera, there's like a little bit of a, uh, a rust lip right there. So when you put the new rotor back on there, that rust lip is going to keep the rotor out just a little bit. When it keeps it out just a little bit, it's going to wind up as you're driving and you stop on, step on a brake, it's going to pulsate back and forth like that. So we're going to clean this up here with either a scraper, a wire wheel, whatever you have, we're going to clean it up. So let me clean this up and then we're going to come right back. All right, I know a lot of you guys are going to say, what the heck is this old fool talking about? But I just want to tell you, when you're in here and you're cleaning this off with your, with your wire wheel or whatever you're using on it, don't forget to wear your safety goggles. You need your eyes. Without them, you're kind of screwed. So make sure you take that extra time. Put your safety goggles on. It's not worth losing your eye and having your eye run down the side of your face if you will wind up getting something that punctures your eye. All right, so now that we got this cleaned off inside here and we got the disgusting part of that discussion done, we're going to uh, put the rotor back on. Now, if you don't have, a, if you don't have an air-powered tool or, or a, a electric-powered whatever, you can use a scraper to clean this off, too, to make sure it's nice and clean before you put the new rotor back on. All right, so uh, all right, let me grab the new rotor. We're going to clean it up before we do anything. We're going to clean it with some brake cleaner, and uh, let's get it back together. Okay. Now, if we have it all cleaned up, we're going to take our, our rotor. And we're going to put our rotor back on. Obviously, we're going to make sure they line up correctly so we can put our screws in. And we'll screw them in as tight as you can by hand. You don't have to go crazy. talked about that little rubber plug. This is where you adjust your parking brake shoes from. You go in through the back over here and you would adjust your parking brake shoes. This piece goes right back in here like this and you just push it back in nice and easy. You don't want to push it too hard and have it fall right through the back. All right, all right next thing we're going to do is let's get over here on this uh, I'm going to show you now how to change these uh, the hot brake. Very simple. You just take these clips and you pull it off. And then get rid of it. Same thing here. Get rid of it. Remember what I said about here? If you have a little bit of rust on here, clean it up before you put it together. Like I said, you could sand it. If you don't have a uh, uh, if you don't have a uh, sandblaster, you can just clean it up with a with a file or a piece of sandpaper, whatever you got. All right, so we'll clean this up a little bit. And you feel it to make sure it feels perfect. All right. 
next thing we're going to do is we're going to take these slide pins here and we're going to pull these out. We're not going to remove them yet. Just pull them out just a little bit. The reason I say that is because there's two different ones sometimes. Sorry about that quality music going on out there. All right, put a little bit of lubricant on the slide pin like this and put it right back in the same hole it came out of. Same thing here. Put it on like that. And then put it back in the same hole as it came out. Push it all the way in. And you'll see it slides a heck of a lot easier than it did before. Okay? All right. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of that synthetic brake grease on here. And this is where the, uh, the mounting hardware is going to uh, be reinstalled. All right, and this goes over the top like this. And then you push it down in here. And you want to make sure that that little clip right there is pushed in all the way so it doesn't touch your rope. Same thing on this side over here. Push it in. And that's it, it's in all the way, see? All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put some brake grease on here. Anywhere that the brake pad touches, we're gonna grease, okay? And we want to make sure now that you have the correct brake pad. You see that you're in a brake pad? You see how it's a mirror image? It's actually opposite. So this one is the wrong one. Well, we're going to take our replacement like this, and that's the correct one. See? It's in the same position. Now, we know that this one here was the inner brake pad because you can see where the caliper piston was touching, in case you forget. We're going to take our brake pad just to make sure it slides in okay, which it does, nice and freely, just the way it's supposed to. We're going to just take this on the side for now. We're going to make sure that the outer brake pad also slides nice and freely. As you can see, it does, it slides right in there, no problem, nice and free, which is what it's supposed to do. All right, now we're going to take this mounting bracket and we're going to mount it back on the car. And uh, then we're going to reassemble it, and um, we're going to wrap this job up. Now, if you remember, we did have a little bit of a problem getting the, uh, the bolts out. They were a little bit tight. You can use either grease, or you can use never seize, whatever you've got. Okay, we're going to put our mounting bracket back on. But before we do anything, we're going to catch both bolts in there oh, until they're snug. They're not going to go tight. We're going to catch them both first and make sure that they screw in at least a couple of threads before you tighten it up with the ratchet. Okay, now we did. Now we can tighten this up. Now we have them both caught so we can tighten them up all the way as tight as they uh, as tight as they can and there is a torque spec on this but I'm not going to look it up because I've done about a billion of them. Right, same thing on the top here. Same thing, nice and tight. Now we're going to take our caliper for now. We're going to just take it and just turn the sideways like that. Now, remember the, the outer brake pad. 
just slides right in there like this, nice and free. You get a brake pad. Remember, we have that. We have the same brake pad here. That goes in here, like this. They slide nice and freely, just the way they're supposed to. So we're in good shape there. But I want to show you this. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you right there. So let's get some light up here, and I'm going to show you. I am going to change this mounting bracket right here. See that, uh, well I should say not mounting bracket, the anti-rattle clip right here. We are going to change this. But first we're going to push this piston back in, all the way back in. Oh, be right back. Alright, sorry about that. We're back again. You know, as much as you like to hear the phone ringing all day long, sometimes it can be very frustrating when you have work that you got to get done. All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to push that piston back in all the way because it didn't push in all the way because we couldn't get the screwdriver in there properly. So what I normally do is take the old brake pads, put your old brake pad in, take your tool, slide your tool in there like that, and you just turn it, and the piston pushes all the way back into the bore as far as it's supposed to go. Otherwise, you won't be able to get it onto the new brake pads and you won't be able to get that anti-rattle clip off properly. It'll be a little bit tighter. All right, so now that we're pushed in all the way. These are trash, of course. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this clip right here. And the way you do that is you just slide it to the side and you pull it right out like that. Pretty easy. You're going to have your replacement. doesn't matter which direction you put it in. It's the same both ways. And we're going to reinstall it the same way that we took it out. We're going to slide it in. Now our brake pads are still... Okay, still in here like this. We'll take our rotor, I mean our caliper, put it over the top of the mounting hardware, and you'll feel a little bit of like a resistance on it. That's absolutely normal because that spring tension on your new clip is what's going to keep your brake pads from rattling. All right, again, we did have a little bit of a tightness with these. Just lubricate. Sorry about all that noise out there today. All right, and we're going to, before we do anything, we're going to catch both of the bolts in there. Don't tighten them up, and then you push down slightly, and you catch your second bolt up on the top, and you screw it in as far as you can by hand. Same thing on the bottom, and screw it in as far as you can by hand. Grab our 12 millimeter socket and we can tighten it up. Now you remember these, these rotated before. If they rotate now, we'll need to hold them. Except it's not. Nice and tight. Same thing here. Nice and tight. That's it. We're all set. All right, so to recap, this is what we did. All right, first thing we did was we, we cleaned up the face here where the rotor is going to fit. We reinstalled our little rubber grommet that's here to keep the water and debris from going inside the uh, inside by these shoes. We screwed in both of the bolts here. These we screwed in both of these Phillips head screws. I don't know what's going on out there today. We got a lot of truck traffic. All right, we, we mounted our mounting bracket back on. We tightened up both of the 14 millimeter bolts in the back up here this one as well as the one up on top we mounted our our um, our um, new hardware onto the knuckle itself we lubricated it we lubricated the slide pins here and we tightened up the bolts here and here all right now we do have our new hardware right there which will keep the brake pads from rattling around and that's it we're all set next thing we're going to do is we're going to go the other side and we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side, and we're going to wrap this job up and hopefully get it done without any more phone calls today. 
All right, thanks for watching. Questions or comments, send me an email, drop me a line, whatever. I'll be more than happy to talk to anybody about anything. As always, thanks for watching.